you're working in company A, right? Then you're trying to make a bridge, you know, very solid, good bridge with another group of people. And this can be company, like a business partner. Or this can be cli uh, clients or potential customer. Right? Then, <clears throat> if it's customer, then it's, of course, uh, to some extent, it's related to marketing. But in general, what PR does is to make a bridge, right? So that we can tell them that, oh, company A is good, right? Or what company A is doing is helping, you know, poor people or saving abandoned dogs and so forth, right? Okay, so that's the difference. So this PR is much uh, bigger, much more like umbrella term, right? The strategic communication is even bigger, a higher level, much more broad, okay? Well, I'll show you some examples later. Then if you look at the communication department, in other universities, for example, this one is what? University of Michigan, another very good school in the States. So this is communication studies, right? So what do they learn, those students? Communication, uh, communication skills, right here, okay? So they learn writing clearly, speak effectively, okay? Synthesize information. Synthesize means you collect information and put them together to make sense as one project or as one story, right? Then presenting different viewpoints, okay? And explaining processes, plans, and concepts. Creating entertaining and persuasive messages, right? demonstrating creativity and artistic expressions. And you also took those art-related courses, right? So by taking those courses, you must have these skills already, okay? But if you think that, oh, I have many of them already, which means you are learning well, okay? But if you think that, mm, I don't have many of them, then you need to improve more. Okay, then these skills, you think it's, they're just general skills. And you think that, oh, other students also have these skills. No, that's not the case, right? Well, I'll show you why. Okay, so let me show you one example of a uh, communication problem. You think communication is so easy, right? I can do it. I can communicate well, right? Then let's take a look at this short video clip. communication breakdown happens. Why is that? I believe some of you have similar situations. I think the problem with that is like different viewpoints. Right. Different viewpoints? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he might have he might have like not seen the dog next to him and he said, oh, my dog's at home. Mm -hmm. My dog doesn't fight. It's at home. But the other one was assuming that that so. Right. So obviously that guy, this right guy, assumed that this dog is his dog, right? 
But he didn't, th this guy didn't think that, uh, oh, this guy is assuming this black dog is blind, right? So different viewpoint. So this clearly shows that uh, communication, the importance is always listening. Communication always starts from listening, right? Listening or can be sometimes <coughs> observation. You have to see others or you have to listen to others, see what they want, right? People always think that, oh, I have to clearly tell, I have to clearly present, right? But communication wouldn't start from speaking, okay? The most important thing is you have to listen, you have to observe what they want. So in this case, he didn't listen to this guy's real intention, right? So this happens. Then let's see, next one. You think you're good at communication, right? So I'll give you one scenario, okay? So suppose that you lend 500 US dollars to one of your good friends a year ago. And now you want it back. But you do not have any proof of lending him or her money. And now your friend is refusing to return. Well, sometimes this happens too, right? Much smaller scale. Like a bike wire, yam bike wire. Then how do you get it back? This time, 500 US dollars, so it's a big money. What do you do? What do you do? Think about it. Okay, go ahead and make a small group of four or five students. Then think of a solution. How can you get the money back? So this is just a hypothetical situation. So there are so many different ways of solving the problem. But I would like to know what you might do. Okay? All right, so go ahead and form a group, group of four or five. I'll give you three minutes, four minutes, let's say four minutes.
another minute. Go about this. So we have, looks like we have five, uh, five or six groups. So from whoever, what do you do? From that group? Uh, because it's our good friends, uh -huh. we will ask him or her to, uh, to do some proofs of, of we will ask him or her to give us back and if him or her say that uh, they have some of the police, then we will um, see the situation that